Today I'm installing Linux Fedora for the very first time. I've heard so many people say it's one of the best distros out there, especially if you're new to Linux. So let's put that to the test. I've got the ISO downloaded, ready to go. And honestly, I have no idea what to expect, but we're doing this live fresh install complete setup. And then I will show you what Fedora can actually do. Here I have Fedora booted up. So this is the live ISO and we have to actually install it on the computer. So here I will click this and now let's click here install to hard drive here i will select the language english united states now let's click here next here we have the destination ata fedora linux 26.8 gigabyte disk and how would you like to install use entire disk and this will remove all the partitions i will not here use the encryption so let's just click here next. And now we have here review and install operating system Fedora Linux 43 workstation edition language is English. And then here we have the installation type and storage. So here I will click erase data and install. Now Fedora Linux 43 is successfully installed. And let's go here, exit to live desktop. And let's go here to top. And here I will select the power button and restart my computer. Now let's configure here Fedora 43. I will select here English. I will select here English US as well. I will disable here location services as well as automatic problem reporting. And now let's click continue. For the time zone, I will go here to Berlin and let's click here on the first one and let's click on next. Third party repositories, I will here enable them, I guess. Third party repositories provide access to additional software from selected external sources. I will click here, enable. I think this is very useful. And now let's click here on next. And now here I will have to type in my full name. I will type in tech enthusiast. Now let's click here on next once again, set a password, mix uppercase and lowercase and try to use a number or two. All done, Fedora Linux is ready to be used. So let's click here, start using Fedora Linux to see what it actually looks like. Welcome to Fedora Linux 43 workstation edition. So we can also take a tour here. So let's click on it. Let's begin. Learn about the key features in Fedora Linux 43. Let's click here on next. Get an overview. The overview shows all your apps and windows. Press the super windows key to open it. Powerful search. To search, just start typing in the overview. You can use search to launch apps, find files, perform calculations, and more. Let's click next here. Stay organized with workspaces. And then here, swipe up and down, swipe left and right. That's pretty much it. So right now, let's click here on X to see how Fedora here looks like. So now if I click here on Windows key, it should open here this pop-up. And down below, we have this really cool dock with the Firefox, calendar, files, software. I guess this is some kind of a store for the software. Then we have the text editor, calculator. And if I click on this, it will show all of the apps already installed. Now let's try to configure here the resolution of the display. Currently, it's a bit broken. So now if I right-click on my desktop, we can go I guess to display settings here to configure the resolution and now we can see here that the resolution is only this much I will have to change this to 1080p so let's go here and select here 1920 by 1080 and for the refresh rate I will leave it to the 60 hertz so let's click on apply and keep changes now it looks much much better now I would also like to see which of the apps are actually pre-installed here on Fedora Linux so let's go here to all of the applications and here we have the document scanner contacts weather clocks maps settings LibreOffice boxes video player camera characters. We have some of the utilities and also system, LibreOffice Impress Tour, Help, LibreOffice Writer and the Terminal. Now this looks already pretty cool. We can also go here on top to see the menu bar. So we have the battery indicator, the volume indicator. We have here the internet, dark style options, which we can enable the dark mode. And you can see that the wallpaper also changes. Then we have the powered mode and do not disturb. And here we also have the screenshot, which looks pretty 
damn good. I think it works super well. Now let's try to customize Fedora a little bit. I will try to go change the cursor, maybe even the wallpaper. So here let's go to the settings and uh, I guess that here down below the appearance option will change most of the wallpaper options as well as the cursor. So let's click here on the appearance and now here we have the style. So pretty much default and dark and down below here we can also change to a few different wallpapers. I think that this one also also looks pretty cool. Now we can also change the accent color. I will go with this one right here, this gray one. And uh, now let's try to change the cursor here. So if I go down below to the mouse and touchpad, we have here the general, so we can change the primary button as well. Pointer speed, and we can also disable here mouse acceleration, scroll direction, and natural option. So I will leave it as it is. Let's go here to test settings. What will this do? We can click here. Secondary click is this one, and then double click is also here. Then we have the scrolling test, so we can scroll down to see here this bear on a motorcycle or a Vespa. So yeah, it works super well and it has this really nice test built into it. I have never seen this in any operating system, not even in Windows or Mac OS. This one has this really cool preview already built in. But the question here is, how can we change here the mouse pointer? But I guess right now I will have to search on Google how to change the cursor on Fedora. So let's open here Firefox. So let's go here to chat. GPT. And let's ask here, how can I install cursors on Fedora 43? Fedora includes some cursor theme packages you can install using DNF and uh, we can try this one. So let's open here the terminal and let's go here. Let's go to the terminal and uh, let's copy this code and let's paste it inside here and let's click on enter. And now here we have a message. We trust you have received the usual lecture from the local system administrator. It usually boils down to these three things, respect the privacy of others. Think before you type, with great power comes great responsibility. And here I will have to insert my password. Repository is loaded, package installing. The total size of inbound packages is one megabyte. Need to download one megabyte. Is this okay? Y and enter. And right now it's installing. Let's once again confirm with the Y and it's complete. So how can I right now apply this cursor? You can also search for other cursors in the repo, DNF search cursor theme, or we can also install this option, sudo DNF install genome tweaks. So we can go copy code and here let's paste it inside. So let's click on paste, sudo DNF, let's click on Y, enter, installing genome tweaks, complete. So how can I open them? I will have to go here, open tweaks, appearance, cursor, and choose the theme you installed. You might need to log out and log back in or reboot for the cursor theme to fully apply system-wide. So if I click here on the Windows key and go here to this option, here we have the tweaks. So if I click on this program, we have extensions has moved. Extension management has been moved to genome extensions. So let's go here and let's also click here, continue. Now we have here some of the options here for the tweaks. And here under the appearance, we have the cursor option currently set to Adi Wada. But here we have the one which we actually installed Breeze Light. So let's click here and you can see that the cursor actually changed. Now, this was pretty much a big headache to install this and to configure all of the options. And now let's also try to add some of the shortcuts here on my desktop. So if I click on my Windows key, we can try, for example, put the calendar right here. And let's go back here to the first page. So if I click on X here, now it's not here. I think I'm just going to ask here ChatGPT how to do this. How can I add an application on a desktop Fedora Linux? So let's see here the recommendations on Fedora Linux. Added an application to the desktop depends a bit on your desktop environment. Most Fedora genome installs already have this, but if not, let's go here and let's install here. Let's copy the code. Let's go here to the terminal and paste this command inside. And let's click on enter. Let's type in here the password. Repository is loaded, fails to resolve the transaction. No match for argument. I guess this does not work. We can also try to install here desktop icons. So this extension for genome extensions program. So if I go here to this website, we can search for desktop icons. Let's click on enter and here it is. Let's click on it and here let's turn it 
going on. Let's click on install here. And here we do have the icons already on my desktop. Okay, so I finally figured out how to add icons to my desktop, the custom ones. So by default, there were home and trash, but now I also added the Firefox. Now, the main point is that you will have to go here to this folder, user share applications. And then here you will have to find your applications, which you want to add. For example, you can search for Firefox. And once you have here the Firefox, you can just copy it like so. And then you will have to paste it inside this home or desktop folder. So home tech enthusiast or the user and then desktop and paste it inside here. And once you have it here, you will also see the icon straight away on your desktop. And then you can right click on it and here make sure to enable allow launching. And that way you can just double left click on the application and here it should open the web browser. Now let's also try to install one really cool browser. It's called Helium. So let's go here and let's search for Helium browser. Let's go to their website. Let's click on download. And here we have the app image. And now to install the Helium browser, I will use this application. It also helps with the app images on Fedora 43. So here let's click on open. Let's click here on plus and let's find here the Helium browser. Let's click on open once again and let's click here on lock and now we can move it to the app menu and also let's click here on launch. This is pretty much my Fedora 43 install and user experience. To be fair, to customize it, it's quite a hassle. You have to install a lot of the third-party applications to get a custom cursor and also to install app images as well as to add brand new icons to the desktop. However, I think it looks quite nice to be fair and it also has this window manager so where you can pretty much drag the window to the edge of the screen and it will pin the application there and it works quite nice. Now, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I will see you all around in the next one.